Oh, what I do? Okay. The family that races. You're all right. Let's talk. Let's talk. Oh, my mother. Oh, my You know, I'm going You guys got that wrote down so far? Yes. I'm just going to repeat it stuff right here. One is way me. The. One is the top thing. Okay, has everybody got that? fragment of a song but we're going to write it all down well i think so. you know uh sean when i was looking at this uh yesterday it's starting to show that we could look back at our other postings did you see that yeah yeah he's starting to be able to like look at the previous stuff and be able to bring it into this 
Oh, hopefully, uh, when I erase this, will it still show it for a while temporarily? It should, uh, shouldn't it? I don't. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Everybody got this because I'm gonna erase it. I got more to write. I'm good with it, but does everybody else got it down? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm good. Yep. Try to get a screen uh, I'm an endless. Okay, bye. All right, we're gonna erase this, and this is uh, another part of it. Oh, okay. You guys, we got a few. This this is on. This ain't even half of it. So it's almost half right now. So go ahead, start writing it if you would. Go on, man. Come on, buddy. Go on, man, Mumbly. Um, all right. Yeah. Oh, make an E. That's an E. That's an E. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be an E, but it looks like a tub. <laughs> looks like a little flag. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, my gosh. How's everybody's day been? Tiring. Yeah, tiring's good. I'm there. Allergies have been rough and just hit out like out of nowhere. I feel you on that, brother. I'm feeling it right now. Okay. Is everybody close to that one? We got three lines left after, or two sentences left after this, and we'll have that complete. Okay, I just need to finish writing the last two lines real quick. Okay. Yeah, Chris and I got to do the same. Sorry we were late. Oh, no. Is that Robin? Yeah. I was worried about you guys. Work ran a little late. We were trying. We were trying to get some food wolfed down before we. Oh, just remember when you guys when we're doing this class, you guys can jump in anytime. Uh, Robin is starting to show the last classes. Can you guys hear me? Girl? I got a little bitty mic now. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. 
a little bit. I mean, I mean, is it noticeably better than yesterday and the days before? Or is it about the same? It's about the same. It's about the same. You're kind of fading in and out a little bit. I'm not sure if that doesn't sound like it's the computer then maybe, but I'm not. I don't know why it would be that way. Yeah. I just don't know. I wonder if it's still running the computer mic instead of the um. Okay, listen, uh, Robin, it says microphone. Allow access to microphone on this device. Okay. It's on. Okay, Mark, and it says microphone access for this device is on. Change. Yeah, Allow change access. it and let me look at the options. Can you see it? See, and I don't know whether the devices means their computer's actual microphone or whether it's the thing that's attached. Normally, when you drop down, it'll say something like USB mic or something like that. If you're looking in um, the settings on the, um, so if you click on the gear that's underneath the whiteboard thing for the um, life, life size. Well, which one would that be the gear? I don't know what that is. It's the thing that looks like a circle with bumps on it. This one? It looks like. A cog, yeah. Was well, that it? No, it should just come up and say change camera sources. You yeah, you need to okay. get out of this. You need to close okay. that down and close the microphone thing down. And okay. then over on the gray where you've got like the eye and the two people in the light bulb. I'll be right underneath back. Underneath there should be like a, a gear, like a cog looking thing. This says camera and audio sources if you hover on it. Okay. Would it be on the right hand side or on the bottom? Uh, it's from because it shows a little mic here. That's why I pushed it because when I plugged this mic in, it never showed that before. This right here. You sound really good right now, but so it never showed that before. No, not that I saw. Um, if you don't mind letting, I know everybody's writing stuff down, but if you don't mind letting me show you what I'm pointing at, I think it'll make some more sense if you'll let me present for a second. Go ahead. Well, it, I think because you're presenting, it's not. Maybe, Sean, I don't know if you can. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Doing... No, no, the only two administrators are Eagle Rod and Rick. Okay. I thought I saw Sean in there. Okay. Yeah, so Eagle Rod, you're going to have to stop presenting if you want me to share. And it's not that big a deal. I was just going to show you what I was looking at just to see if it said, because mine says like default microphone, USB, PNP, audio. So I know it's a USB mic. Okay, right here it says, uh, I see it says, if an app is using your microphone, you'll see this icon. And it shows that little icon that I was telling you about when I plugged it up. It never showed that before. But now it says when it is using it, it shows that. And so, yeah, you do sound better right this minute. So, um, you know, it, it well, probably I, well, is. Well, I, I moved, the, I moved the mic. The mic was stuck to my neck, so I just, I made it loose where it's hanging down to past my chin, toward the, like the that center of my chest. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Well, I, I'm trying with, with with my little means I got to try to make it better for the class. Right. And, and and I did pass on Jonathan. I want you to know I did pass on Sweetwater.com to Ricky and. I've, I've said we need a better mic for, for Eagle Rod. So, again, things move slowly, you know, through the tribe when it comes to purchasing and that type of, that type of stuff. But I have passed on the needs of the class. And, uh, like I said, I'm unable as just a sole committee member to, like, you know, purchase stuff and everything. It has to come through through the nation. Um, but I have passed right. on the needs. No, I have passed on the needs of the class, you know. We're glad yeah. that you're here so that you, at least people who are involved in it, um, kind of know the experience. Call those guys because generally if you want high quality audio, even with a computer, for instance, for recording, it's really important to have an interface. And so the interfaces don't have to be expensive. And if you call those guys, they can tell you what's available. Um, because I know if you're going to be recording these, you know, and people are going to be using them over and over, you probably want to get some pretty darn good recordings, right? 
So yeah, um, no, absolutely, absolutely. We want the pronunciation is so. I mean, it's so key. Just one different uh, accenting something or. Yeah, so we really need a high recording. So, so again, yeah. you know, it's uh, the, it's been noted, and I'll keep pushing for it. But it, you know, things just take time, unfortunately, to yeah. get things, uh, get the things we want. But I, I am keeping a list of everything, and you know, we just have yeah. to uh, make do until we can, until we can get better equipment at this point. Yeah, it shouldn't have to be that terribly expensive. Either. The ones that I got. Yeah. Well, there is also to consider the balance of mobility. So when you start adding multiple pieces to a setup, how easy is that to set up to move around? I don't know what and, uh, which we've seen a lot of. Thank so, you. so that's something to consider. Uh, I know you're. Uh, you, you know, you're, you're a, I don't know what level you're wanting, but I don't know how much you know production it is to set that up and how. I mean, is it more steps than we need? Uh, I just want to say that I'm, I'm really appreciative for whatever everybody's opinions and uh, suggestions. And uh, Sean, I'm really happy with the stuff that they got us already. I think it's really good. And, we're, and with this little mic I got, I think we'll make do for that however long. Is everybody yeah. this down? We're going we're gonna to go ahead and uh, I got to finish writing it. We ain't got much left to write. Okay. Well, I had some chicken while ago. My allergies are acting up too because today, like, it's real cold here and snows and then it gets real crazy hot, like in the 80s. And it was only in the 70s when we were making some hot chicken before we started. But my nose is dripping still. You can put it there. Does it? Does it? Yeah. Yes. We have it. I don't know if anybody else is still needing it. We were the slowest okay. for the last. So I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Okay, everybody, we're gonna go ahead and erase this, and I got this one last piece. And remember, after we have this class, you guys should be able to come back and look on it because I did. And uh, I think they finally got it. I think Brent finally got it to where uh, it's uh, able for us to review what we done did. And what we have done. Go on, the mumble. Oh, they are not But they are not It's a G. And I'll go. The more like this is one day, way knee, the top, and who on them? They are the a on Giraga. This is the root word of this. This is how this word started out as the original right here. Da -e -de. Da -e -de. I mean, that's really important, but I want to break these down later on when I'm teaching you guys it's because all these things are conjugations of, um, and some of them like this here, this is a personal, uh, but this is a possessive pronoun right there, but the rest of these are all verb. Everything in this entire song is verb except for that. Ditate. Ditate means your. And it's a possessive pronoun. Everything else is verb conjugation.
Let me know when you guys have this. Chris and I are good. I'm good. I'm good. Anybody else feel good, Rodney? Take your time if you need it. No, nope, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good as well. Jonathan? No, I'm good. I've got it. Yeah. Okay. See you, everybody. Joining the meeting. Okay, how you doing, Debbie? I just want to tell you. I just want to tell you. Tell me you're going to take me to my favorite. You're going to take me to my favorite. You got two of them, Debbie. You got two of them. Tony. You got Connie, you got two of them sitting on your deal. You're, you're on either your phone or your laptop, and it's making an echo. And then your microphone's yeah, my, on on here. I turned it off. Yeah, I, I turned it off. I'm sorry. Hold on. My phone was. Okay, there, there we go. I was dying, and I had to turn my computer on. Or I would have. Hmm? Okay. I couldn't understand right here, you. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah, that was a big. Okay, we lost her. Okay, uh, this song is called I Seek the Savior's Healing. This is a song for healing. I Seek the Savior's Healing. My grandfather, Francis. Eagle. He was a son of he was a son of horse chief. I mean a white not a horse chief, but he was a son of White Eagle. He was from one of White Eagles, I think I think his third wife. Good luck, uh, Good luck. And he was uh hang on real quick. Okay. All right. So the song, the song right here, my grandfather, he made this song a long time ago. One of my great, great grandfathers. He was, he was, uh, he was one of the first sons out of White Eagle, Chief White Eagle to be born in Oklahoma. You know, as you know, Chief White Eagle was our main chief, our principal chief. And so anyway, that song says, Savior, it says, your healing is what I seek in my life. And it says, when, it, when that word says, Algi Naga, it says, hear me. Savior, your healing is what I'm seeking. I'm seeking it. I seek it in my walk of life. Savior, your healing is what I seek in my life. Have compassion upon me. And that's what it says. And we're going to sing it right here. And I want you guys to sing it with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna start off on this first one. This first sentence is Wani de Wani the Tate Uwane Mamli. The word is Wani de Wani the Tate Uwane Mamli. Say the word with me. If you guys unmic un yourselves. Up to here. Yeah. To, to there. Bonnie, try to unmic yourself again. Bonnie? Just trying. Garrett and Deb, are you ready? Yes. Okay, Connie, you might have to log out and log back in. It does that sometime. You want your mic ain't coming off. Oh, no. 
Sean. Let's see. I found this Badger shirt. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, I, when I meet you in person, Jonathan, I'm going to bring you a big Badger hat you can wear around. I will wear it. I'll, I'll bring you a Nebraska hat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, if you wear sunglasses, nobody will recognize you if you wear a Nebraska. <laughs> hey, show me the two of you are mic again. All right, you're un you're muted. Can you try to unmute yourself, Garrett and Robert and Chris? <sighs> okay, Connie, sister, you're fine. You, nobody, I haven't muted nobody on here, so you guys are, you should be able to, uh, I see you, Garrett, but I can't, you're still muted. Looks like Garrett has another microphone. It's not a good one. <laughs> That's what we need for you, Eagle Rye. I need one like this. <laughs> <laughs> I just got this baby one. <laughs> They had to log off. Yeah, try to log off and come back on. We'll wait for you. Bonnie, can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. I can. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We've got Garrett coming Thank back. You. We'll be waiting for Garrett. Yeah. It, it basically acted like you had the moderator had muted us again, or I've seen it before. I caught the screen. If somebody needs it, if you've got somebody in, I don't know that it matters. We get something life size is doing. Okay. Okay. Here's Garrett again. Okay. On it. All right. We got you, Garrett. Okay. Right here it says, Wani they weigh me the thought The Okay, look at your paper. Wani, let's all say it. Wani they. Wani they. Wai ni. Wai ni. Wai ni. Dita te. Dita te. Wani they. Dita te. Wai ni. Wai ni. Wai ni. Wai ni. Dita te. Dita te. Okay, now we're going to go that second line. Uwane. 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 Mambli. Mambli. Uwane. Uwane. Mambli. 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 Now we're going to say it again. Wani ze. Wani ze. Wani. Wani. Dita te. Dita te. Dita te. Who won eh? Who won eh? Who won eh? Mambri. 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 Now we're going to go to the other one. Agi na aga. Agina. 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 Okay, we're going to break it down. Agina. 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 Okay, when you say it faster. Agina. 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 Agina.
I mean, uh, I obviously wrote something down wrong. Okay. Can you show me what you got Robin? Yeah. Um, can you put your board on? Yeah. I was actually trying to go back and look at it. All right. What I had was. Oh, I wish I had my pen. I had that. What is your word? The only word you got, man. Is this the word you got messed up? Is that the one that messed up or which one? No, I have we have a D in front of ours for some reason, so we messed up. That's fine. Okay, because this is the other one. It's different, but that's not right by that one. one. Okay. Yeah, we're not that far down or to where when we use that word. Yes. Get all of okay. This is that's this is the other one right here. I think what we did was we probably because we were late we missed a line, so that's oh, on us. Missed the whole fragment. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Okay, I got a question. Uh, Robin, do you guys have messengers? Um, yeah. Let, uh, you find me. I'm the easiest to find. I, I'm going to send you the. Yeah, you guys got messengers. I'm going to. This is all typed out. I can send you the whole picture and you know it without all your writing. That's the only good thing about Messenger. Like I said, we don't even need Facebook. Messenger will just get right to it. Can you find me on Messenger? Yep, I'm sending it right now. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Marshall. Okay. And maybe and maybe you could show this on your screen. You see it, Robin? That's the entire song. A lot of songs yeah. I got wrote already and typed up. Okay. But like oh. I said, but without me being able to use some kind of uh, uh, messenger or something. Can you guys see that? Can you see this uh, song? You're really fading in and out um, vocally. It's really hard to understand what you're saying. Sorry, can everybody hear me? me? Just start yeah, we can. You you are fading in and out quite a bit, Eagle Rod. I'm not sure why, but sometimes you're clear, but other times you're really muffled right now. Jeez. Um, I got an idea that might be able to choose the right microphone. Run with the carrot. Okay, so um, I'll walk you through it. So down in the bottom right to your taskbar, like where it says uh, ENG US, like English US. Right next to that, you'll see the little, like to the left, it's the little sound symbol. I do see it. Right click. I did. Uh, the one right next to that one, to the right. Oh, right sorry. click on the little, like, sound thing. Speaker. Uh, right click that instead of left click. Did I right click it? Uh, that's a left click, so right click. It'll be, like, on the right side of, are you on a laptop? This one? 
I'm on a laptop. Okay, you are on a laptop. Okay, so yeah, um, right to the other one where you were, like right next to that one, uh, right click on the sound symbol. So it's not the E and G, but just to the left of that. Hey, look, hey, you just showed me something. It did download that Lakota all-in-one keyboard when you showed me that. It, down, it downloaded on there. So we might yeah. be able to just use that on whiteboard all the way that, uh, you know, like I said, yeah. I just don't know. I want to copy. Yeah, and you should be able to. I'll email it to you, sis. Thank okay, you. Okay, now, now tell me again, Garrett. Okay, so um, right-click on the little, it's um, like the little triangle-looking thing next to the the curved lines. That's a speaker. Yeah, yeah right. Right. you can open you can open the sound setting through that and then choose uh, choose your inputs and outputs. Yeah, Garrett, I was trying to have him look at the the also the cog wheel to see if he's actually on the right one or if he's still using his microphone computer. Okay. Um, okay, so if someone else is there, uh, right click on the little sound symbol next to ENG US. So, like, right click on it. And then it should open like a little pop up menu that said that should say sounds. So, yeah, right click on that one right there. Yes. Hit sounds. And then go to recording at the little top tab bar. Okay. Um, is that the fancy microphone you have there? The microphone array? Is that the one that's plugged in? No, that looks like that's on the, the actual motherboard itself. You probably no. must use the headset microphone. Okay. Um, is your microphone plugged directly into the laptop? Oh, that's because it's not plugged no. in. Okay, yeah. So... Uh, Okay, yeah, plug plug the other side of that. If it's wired, go ahead and plug it into like one of the USB ports on your laptop. Okay, it's plugged in. Okay. Uh, you might maybe uh, tab out and then click back to it. Like on sounds and then click on recording again or something. Or yeah, yeah, close the window and reopen it. That works too. Yeah. Okay. The only reason I can think of that it's not showing up is that you might need to install like software in order to use the microphone. It might not just be a plug and play. I would agree. Because don't you think, Garrett, from looking at the mm -hmm. microphone array, that that looks like that's something that's on the motherboard that he's still using the laptop microphone? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that definitely seems like the, the default, like the built-in microphone. That's what sometimes, I thought, too. Sometimes. 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 Yeah, this is, um, I mean, I, I, this is something I can work, like, work on with you, like, outside of class if you want, and then we can just keep oh. trudging along, and then we can yeah, take to figure I this out. I don't, know how to get, I don't know how to get a hold of you, though, Garrett. Um, well, we just added each other on Facebook, so you can message me on Messenger if you want, and then... Oh, sorry, my dog. Okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll just unplug it. Anyway. I'm really thinking it's working. <laughs> yeah, because there will be things like I'll have to check and see like what brand the microphone is and look up and see if there's like software that needs to be installed to run it. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll hit you up on uh, when we get done with this class. I'll, I'll just drive to Staples. It closes at nine. Um, and I'll see what they got over there. Surely they might have something over there. Cause I'll, I'll pay out of pocket on some stuff. I just want our class to be productive, you know? Oh, if you've already usually bought the microphone, the software should be, like, included with it. You just have to go download it from the uh, manufacturer's website. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, Robin, you and Chris, you got that on Messenger, what I said sent you, right? Yeah, we did. We're good. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this yep. song right here, it says, it says, Way Ni, they, I mean, it says, Way Ni, they, Way Ni, they thought they. You guys can all unmute yourself now. Okay. When is the when a ditate? Ditate. When is the when ditate? When is the when ditate? When is the when? Okay, now listen, we're going to start off from, uh, I'm going to tell you the order we're going to go in. Uh, we're going to go with Jonathan, then Robert, then Connie, then Debbie, then Sean, then Chris, and Robin, and then Garrett. We're going to sing that first one. You guys can all remute yourself except Jonathan. And as soon as you're done, Jonathan, we're going to, I'm going to sing this one time through this top line, and then you're going to sing it. And then I'm going to sing it. Then you're going to sing it. We're going to do it three times, and then you're going to mute yourself, and then I'm going to go to every one of them. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, meet yourself, Connie and Debbie. Don't go too far. <laughs> okay. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. Talk to him. See what he needs. Ask him when my son can move back into the apartment. Go. Okay, we're ready now. This is Wani Day Wani the Tate 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 Wani the Wani the Tate Wani the Wani the Tate. Okay, listen, before we go on to you, Robert, you see, he's starting to feel this in his spirit and his soul. Don't be afraid. It doesn't matter if you guys think you can't sing or not. Let your soul, let your spirit speak. Go ahead and mute yourself, Jonathan. Go ahead, Robert. We blow up. Oh. All right, I'm good to go. Okay, I'm gonna start. Wani lay, wani the tate. 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 Wani day, wani the tate. Wani day, wani the tate. Good. We get good. Meet yourself. Go ahead, sister. I meet yourself. Now remember, whenever I sing this, everybody's got their own voice. You're gonna hear all kind of ponkas down here, and sing this, and all you ponkas all over. You're gonna sing a little bit different, so don't feel like just because you're not singing it like me that you're wrong because you're not. Wani the wani the tate. 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 You got it, sis. Don't ever be nervous, sis. You got this. Go ahead, sister. The tate. You got it. Go ahead, mute yourself, sis. Yes. Go ahead, Deb. Wani the Wani the Tate Wani the Wani the Tate Wani the Wani the Tate 
Oni the way need the Wani de wani de tate One more time. I gotta take some practice. <laughs> you got it, Deb. Don't ever be afraid. You got it. You did good. Go ahead, Sean. Copy me or follow me. Meet yourself, Deb, please. Wani de wani di tate. 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 Wani de wani. Let's go, Chris, if you're able. This ain't, we're not trying to make no one feel no kind of way. Yeah, okay. But you got this, bro. I'm going to sing it for you. you. Just follow me. Okay. Wani de wani di tate. Wani de wani di tate. You're you're perfect. Just now, when we go again, as you find yourself, the way you said it, you said it real good. Like any punk will understand that or Omaha. But when you sing it, just put a little bit more into it when you feel comfortable. Wani de wani di tate. One is the sorry, one is the winnie the tate. Good, one more time. One is the winnie the tate. One is the winnie the tate. Let me give you guys a pointer, too. You know, it ain't easy just to learn our alphabet and our Ponca language. Like when you do that, like you say, wa, put a W A and then me, N E E or K N E E, and then they for W, I mean T H E Y, wa, ni, they, and then for the way, you just put W A Y and then ni, spell it like a ni so you'll know because after a while, you will get the hang of this lettering. When you look at that way and you compare it, it'll be wa, ni, they, and then you'll be like, Wani de wani di tate. Go ahead, Sister Robin. Wani de wani di tate. Wani de wani di tate. Wani de wani di tate. Yes. Wani de wani di tate. One is the way the Good. Good. Okay, brother Garrett. Okay. One is the way the One is the way the tate. One is the way the tate. Wani te wani ti tate. Wani te wani ti tate. Wani te wani ti tate. Okay, starting back with you, Jonathan. Are you there? We're gonna go to the Uwa ne Mambli. Jay, you ready? Okay, we're gonna go to that Uwa Ne Mambli. Okay. Okay, what what we get? Okay, before I go on, when it says Wani the Waini the Tate, Wani they mean Savior or Messiah, but in this case we're using it as Savior. Waini is the healing power. And then you say the Tate, your healing power. 
Savior, we want, what we want is your healing power is what it's talking about. And so this next word we're going to say, I, I forgot to explain it to you, is uwane. Is, that means I am seeking. I'm seeking. You're talking about yourself. Okay. Mumbly in my way of life, or that could also mean in my lifetime. So it says, Uwane Mumbly. We're going to try to wrap this one up so that uh, Sean could get in on us because Brother Sean's got to go somewhere. So let me get started with it. You ready, John? I am. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Now I'm going to try this one time with you. I think you might have it, but these other ones are not, though. Not yet. Wani they, wani they talk they. Uwane mumbly. Wani they, wani they talk they. Uwane mumbly. Okay, good job. Okay, Robert. We're just gonna do that. Uwane mumbly. Uwane mumbly. Uwane mumbly. Uwane mumbly. Uwane mumbly. Uwane mumbly. Barbara, you're going to have to hit your mute button. Good to see you, Sister Barbara. Hi. You hit your mute button after you introduce I'm yourself. Trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Robert. Hit your mute button, bro. Sister Connie, you're on. Uwane, Mombly. Who won a mumbly? Who won a mumbly? Did it work? Who won a mumbly? Who won a mumbly? Who won a mumbly? Thank you. Sister Debbie on deck. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Good job. Good, brother. Uwane Mumbly. Who are they, Who are they, Who are they, Good. Brother, if you got to go at 7 o'clock, you'll be all right. Oh, thanks, everyone. Sorry for leaving early, but I'm, I'm glad you guys are learning a beautiful song. Good, good class, Eagle Rod. Good class. I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, bro. Thank you. Good night, Sean. Okay, Chris, you ready? <clears throat> yeah. Go ahead. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Yes. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane. Mumbly. Good. Go ahead, sister. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. Uwane Mumbly. 
Guane Mambli. Guane Mambli. Good, you got it. Okay, we're at one sister Barbara now. I'm gonna get you caught up to speed real quick. Hey, hey Barbara, go ahead and uh, say hello to everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot you something so you're gonna get caught up, okay? Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm here with uh, my Barbara. friend today. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> Hi, Connie. Who's here? My How friend is Sister Barbara. Yeah. I'm gonna send you notes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, one of the little Amish girls had a burst appendix, so I was at the farm later than usual, but she's in the hospital now, so oh, no. just prayers for her little fanny. Oh, my god. Sister gosh. Barbara, put it on the, our punk yeah, language. You got it. Okay, I got it. Uh, any, any of you class members want to be on our punk language mm -hmm. deal? Me, Sister Barbara, and Sister Connie. And uh, Emily and then uh, brother-in-law, Kurt, we got a little chat group that we got here. It's called the Punk Language. We made over a year. It's been over a year, ladies. Yes. Did you know that? We made, we made this over a year ago. Yes. So if you got, listen, if any of you guys would want to be added on to this, uh, talk to Connie or Barbara. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So start adding them if they'd like to be on there, and we can we'll start do. uh, doing practice afterward. Okay, uh, Barbara, are you looking at what I sent on Good the idea. on the punk language? Wanide weni ritate uane mobling. That's it. Uane mobling. Uane mobling. You did good. We the hunk. Go ahead, do it three more times for us. Uane mon bling. Uane mon bling. Uane mon bling. Good. Okay, we're going to take a brief break real quick. So you guys talk this over now. I'm going to turn my uh, mic and my speaker off real quick. i got to grab something. About a five-minute break. Okay. We've been okay. working on this song for an hour straight. <laughs> okay, so you guys talk it over, get Barbara caught up. Okay, you can tell me. Yeah, Barbara. Oh, there's a spaceship taking off somewhere. Not me. Jonathan's serenading us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hi, Jonathan. <laughs> Maybe maybe we're writing a song that goes with the words. Song, song, you know? <laughs> what do the words mean? Wani de wani, wani de wani di da de. It means wani de is a uh, like healer, Jesus or savior. So my savior and wani is a um, healer or someone that would cure cure you. Um, litate means like um, your, so like, you know, my healer, Jesus, my healer, um, my savior, who is a healer, that kind of thing is where, what I'm getting out of it. Um, uh, thinking, like I'm thinking in my own way, which would be the mombly. Uwane is I'm thinking. Now eagles. Uwane yeah, is it's the word, thinking. literally the word thinking. thinking. Or like I'm thinking. Let me double check. But that, I believe that's what he said. I am. He says he says it so much more elegantly. <laughs> Jonathan, what were you Eloquently, saying? Eloquently, I guess I think is. Wane is savior. Um, Wane litate is killing power. Um, you want a, I am speaking. Seeking, S E E K I N G. Right, seeking. Okay. Oh, okay. Mombly, mombly, in my lifetime. Did I say I am speaking in my lifetime. You want a, mombly, I am speaking in my lifetime. So the melody, um, 
We are composing. Huh? Oh, He's composing. I only have 3,000 programs to choose from, so I never know which one to select. <laughs> Can somebody sing the first line for me? Yeah. Um, you want to hear the melody? Yes, please. Would you rather that I played it or sang it? If you could just sing it with your voice. One we need the That's pushing oh, my I'm what? a baritone, so that's very high for me to sing in that key. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, you're very <laughs> kind. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. But it's right at the top of my brain. I don't know if I'm going to hear those or not. Robin, sing it for me. Mm, I can say it. One is the way the. So basically, I've I've lost in getting the pronunciations. I've lost the tune. One is the way the. Maybe if I get rid of the strings here, it's just piano. That's all I got. Connie heard it, she can sing it too. I feel like when I sing it, it sounds more like I'm trying to do a Gregorian chant than actually the right intent. Nice to see you, Barbara. <laughs> I had myself muted. Thank you, Jonathan. You too. Thank you. I'm going to look you up when I come to Lincoln. Well, I hope you do. My um, my number, if you want to write it down. Oh, yes. 402 802-8339. 802-8339. That's it. Are you on Facebook? I am. You, you have to go under So Blue Music at rocketmail.com. So Blue, S O B L U E, S I C, at rocketmail.com. That's the address for my Facebook page. I, I got to make an announcement. I just found out today my cousin, who's a Ponca, is 22 years old. She graduated from art school last year. She's working on the new Spider-Man movie. No way! Oh, wow. Yeah, she's one of the main artists, and they won her in the new Star Wars movie after she finishes this. So What's her just, name? Her name is um, Brittany Corbin. Oh, that's so cool. I, I was blown away when my sister told me about it. It's like, wow. Uh, she showed me her work, and she is absolutely fabulous. So she's doing the background, you know? For yep. the she does the, the drawing, the sketching, and then someone else does the color. So, That's yeah, so she's, cool. in, she's in Vancouver, British Columbia right now, getting paid a lot of money. to. It's like, wow. 
I'm jealous. Doors are opening. <laughs> huh? Doors yeah. opening. I'm so happy for her because um, that family is great. Um, they're really wonderful people, so it's good to see that happening. You know? And she's Ponka. Yeah. <laughs> so great. What was the group that Eagle was talking about? The, the group 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 language, group. language group? I've never seen it on Facebook, I don't think, but I, I'll search for it. Oh, Facebook. <laughs> yeah, um, hold on a sec, guys. I can get it. It's, it's something that Barbara yeah, and Connie yes. and I put together over a year ago. Maybe what, 15 months ago? Maybe longer than that. It's been a while. Yeah. Um, someone wants to. Yeah. But this right here, listen, the class, uh, so you guys understand this is a voluntary Facebook thing that chat. we've been doing on voluntary yeah. time. Emily, what is this? Yeah. Um, just, are we good? <laughs> I can add you guys, you whoever wants to be added. Um, my Facebook is... Jonathan, hang on, we're trying to hear Connie. Oh, Jonathan, go ahead and mute yourself Facebook. real quick. Yeah. Okay, now, real quick, so you guys understand you guys this is a voluntary added, thing. I don't know if y'all can... But that's, I can't see it. let me see here. That's my Facebook, wherever it goes. Yeah, it's probably too dim. It's oh. just C O'Brien, C O B R I E N. That's uh, not working. <laughs> but it's Facebook, um, facebook.com slash C O B R I E N. Just shoot me a message and I'll add you to that group. Listen, hold on real quick, Connie. Listen, language. It's about three to this, four of us now. This right here is a voluntary thing. This don't got nothing to do with the northern, southern Ponca, the class, nothing. This is all voluntary that we're just doing that we've been doing for some time now. Uh, Sister Connie and Sister uh, Barbara and I. And then we got Kurt on there, which is uh, Sister Connie's husband, and Emily, uh, my girlfriend. So we, we got these. This thing's real voluntary. It's not got nothing to do with what we're doing here. It's just a study group that we've been doing. And you can look back on our stuff. And uh, we, I've been, we've done put that. a lot of things on there. It ain't working. Uh, I'm very interested in joining so the group if like. possible. We can't yeah. see Connie. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Yeah, Connie, don't worry. Uh, let me in, let me put let me put a uh, let me add a uh, yeah. Robin in them real fast. Hold on. Uh, I tell you what, if they can contact you, let, let them contact you, Eagle, and you just send their names to me, and I'll add them. Yeah, because the C O'Brien came up with the Corey O'Brien talking about tattoos. For some reason, I must have typed something wrong. So I thought, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. Oh, are you kidding me? Excuse me, you guys. I have a guest here. Oh I have a guest here. I gotta excuse myself, but I'll log in again in a little bit. Okay. okay. Thank okay. you. Bye, sweetheart. See you shortly. Hey, Robin, can you check your thing? I added you, Robin. I think that's you. Okay, I'm on. I'm trying to check my own thing. <laughs> I was pretty sure I that was it. it. Oh, my gosh. I'm checking. I think I closed it down by accident. I'd had it up and was closed. I have too many windows open, and I was trying to close some stuff out. Oh, that's Corey. You're right. Ugh. What did I do wrong? So it wasn't just me. Good. Where did I go? <laughs> no. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm so there we go. Let me come back here. So sorry. <laughs> you think I know my own Facebook, right? <laughs> did you send it in the chat, Eagle, or did you just add me? Just add you. Do you do you have two? Yeah, uh, I see it. I've got it. I've got it. I'm good. Okay. okay let's I get be, back on this. That's it. Can I be added as well? Yep. Yeah, we got we got you guys. Let's let's wait until the end. Yeah, you can uh, just um. Jonathan, Jonathan, are you my friend on here? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm there. Yes, sir. Okay, if you guys are all my faith, friend, like I said, this is something we're going to do. That, uh, we're not going to talk about it more on here because uh, it might mess up my uh, – get out of my job scope. So, But like I said, it's a voluntary thing that a few punkas and, uh, have been doing – that are just it's all voluntary and most of it the ones in georgia two's in georgia two's in oklahoma and then one's in nebraska and then wherever you guys are at will be added to that and it's something that we just ask questions on about um what we think about this or making sentences or talking about history okay okay we're gonna go back to the whiteboard real quick eagle man tell you something what you were gone while I said this. So it's one of your relatives, my cousin, her name is Brittany Corbin. She's a Ponca. She is working on the uh, new Spider-Man movie and is going to be working on Star Wars coming up. Pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that too. It's so good. Okay, look, we're going to go to the whiteboard if you guys could uh, follow along. We're gonna she do a uh, Casey Bud. <laughs> yeah. Bird prefixes. Uh, those are bird prefixes. I don't need that on. I'm just telling you guys to write it down. Blowing. It says blowing and rubbing. Laying down. Pressing. So write these down. These are two pre uh, verb prefixes. If you guys can, make sure you guys are muted. I can hear a lot of muffled background.
When you guys are done, let me know and we'll move on. I'm good. Chris and Robin are good. We're good. I'm done. I'm good. Anybody left? Maybe you good too? Yes. Ball by mouth, D by hand. Let me know when you're ready when we go on. Good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, I'm going to delete it. Listen, on a uh, song we, we got wrote down, we're going to learn, we're going to continue out that in fragments throughout the week until we get more, a little better. We'll try to have it finished by Wednesday. Hang on, give me a second. I got to turn this light on. It's dark in this one now. Oh, what did I do with the little pins? I dropped the pins. I hurt those. Let me know when you guys got that. Chris and I are good. I'm good. I'm good. Well, my kids are going crazy. It's getting it's like springtime out there. <laughs> Everybody good? Yeah. Anybody left? I'll wait. I'm good. Deb, are you good? Yes. 
Yes. Okay, I'm going to delete it. Let me know when you guys are done with that one. I'm going to continue on. Chris and I are good. We're good. I'm good. Anybody left? I'm not rushing nobody. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, we're going to delete it. Remember, don't be afraid. If you guys ever need time to more uh, to write or a little more, uh, just ask a question if you need me to further along. Uh, uh, to explain something or just be patient. I'm patient. These are all oh, bird prefixes. That means they go in front of the bird. I said it's over. I'm sorry. I'm going to let you guys write this down. I'm going to uh, erase it because this next verb prefix has a lot of meanings to it. I'm going to have to go. I probably won't be able to use it. I probably have to use two pages on it alone. So when you're done with this A, a uh, verb prefix and that I verb prefix, let me know. I'm going to erase it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. We're done. Good. I'm good. We're good. I'm good. Okay. Give her, give her still on there. Yes, I'm good. Okay, well. You know what? Uh, the punk is coming up a little bit uh, different, but let me tell you, my Uncle Mark Sweatin and Linge, he summed this up in multiple ways. I'm talking about, like, made me think even, you know, like, I just, one of these times I'm going to show you guys, but right now, I'm just going to show you how I learned it.
Oh my gosh, that looks so ugly. Here, Muller. I like to. The coffin. The coffin. Okay, let me know when you're done with that. Good. Is that meant to be that confusing? <laughs> no, it ain't. That's what it can mean. That you verb, any of that verb could be a condition of person, yeah. like the state of mind. Maybe I should have wrote it that way, like a state okay. of mind that a person or things in, or that verb that something's inside of what's inside of a tree, a bowl, uh, inside of a stomach, uh, the penis inside of a vagina. It can mean anything. I'm not saying okay. any kind of way, but I want you to understand what you're talking, what I'm talking about. Or having to do with you and I speaking, or me speaking to you all, or them speaking to us, yeah, or fine. vice versa. The conditional, Thank right? You. That's right. Chris and I are good. Take your time. I'm good. Give me a second. I'm looking at something. I don't know if there's a better way to explain it. To when I, I, I could explain how I think it, but this ditch thing might tell a little bit better than what I do on a different part. If you guys are done, I'm going to erase this. I'm good. Anybody left? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. I see something in here, I think. That might have explained it just a little easier than what I can. With one self, I might see what it is. Huh? No, I don't see it. It's awesome. Nope, no, no, no. Well, it's not in the dictionary. Never mind. Okay. This is the easiest one I think I could do. 
with one's self. To do with oneself, that's what I explain that. It's, this is how you spell that. K I T. I'm good. Chris and I are good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I thought it was in that. Dictionary, that punk dictionary, but I didn't see it in there. The conditional? That's a prefer, prefix key. Oh, prefix key. Yeah, these are verb prefixes, and here's another one. Yeah. I don't know if that's in there either, but I, I can explain how I think it is, but I, I want you guys to be able to see it in something, you know? See it in uh, these verbs that are so good. Make you feel a little better than sometimes what I say, but a lot of these things ain't in here. And that's why when we, if we make if the committee and them stuff, we, we make a dictionary, we got to try to put all this in there because a lot of this stuff right here, it needs to be understood, you know, and if people can't uh, explain it, because I'm going to show you something that's going to be hard to explain that I've asked fluent speakers that were punk and Umaha. And both of them, you know, that was difficult for them. And yeah, it was difficult. One's own. That's the only way I could explain that word. I'm going to give you guys an example what this one means right here. I take or I took past tense. You understand? Bleeze it, I took, I took it. I'll glee I took my own. Okay. Is that Sister Barbara back on yet? Sister Connie, are you still here? I don't think so. I'm here. Okay, Sister, what does Wa'u mean? I am mean? here. What does Wa'u mean? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm supposed to know, right? I'm, look, I'm going to look it up. Or anybody, you know, know what Wa'u means? Just one second. Woman. Woman, female. Okay. Okay. The right. can means the. Yes. Okay. The can means the. Auglise. What does Auglise mean? I got a rope right here. Auglise, please. 
you see how this G this G verb it changed this right here to from that to all glize. And so when you say wau dinke glize, that means I took my own wife or I took my own woman. That is that is a G I verb. That one's not in there either. What? Which one? Agri is in there. I, oh, in I the know it ain't in there. That's, that's what I'm there. trying. I'm just trying yeah, to tell you. Agri is there. there Gliza is not in there because when we make a dictionary or a verb book, we got to put these in there because in uh, Auntie Alice mm -hmm. Linge, it's not in it's not in her uh, her 500 plus uh, verbs in Umaha. If I if I talk all this stuff but, and, and um, the word agadi is this, in there and it means okay what is agadi word is in there it means come back agadi a g that, that, d that doesn't have no that don't got no that don't have no meaning to what we're talking about I'm trying to teach okay. you guys it something says, come that back have no reference for returning okay yeah but we're not talking about the this it is says come back or return. This is a GI verb phrase. I got this. Okay, gotcha. That's a that's a totally different verb. But the okay. point what I'm trying to make the, the point that, the way it read the, no it doesn't. The, the point I'm trying to make here is this Ponca dictionary, this Umaha Iete, Umaha Uskante, this uh, 500 plus verbs in Umaha. There's a gap in every one of these things, and we have to come together as Ponkas, Omahas, or even or just Ponka from Oklahoma, Ponka from Nebraska. We got to fill these gaps because if I write some of this stuff for you, you're not. And I still go look in all these books, these books that took years and years to write the Ponka Dictionary, the Ponka, the, the Omaha language, the Omaha way, the, the verbs in Omaha. You're not even going to know what I'm talking about because you're going to say, well, that's not even true. It's not even in there because it is missing so much. Right. Now, I'm not the only one that knows this. Any fluent speaking punk or Omaha knows this. But we have to make an initiative. We can't say that is good enough because it's not good enough. Right. It is not good enough. We got so many people that sitting right here in this class group that are educated, that are uh, open minded, that are brilliant, that you are somebody that we can take the initiative and do this. Yeah. And that's what we're going to have to do. And yeah. you see, it's hard to explain some of this stuff, you know, uh, even though I heard it my whole life, but sometimes it's just hard to say how to explain stuff in English. Yeah. And and you see, and Sister Connie, you know, uh, when we don't know the language, you know, you look up for glee, of course, glee means all kinds of stuff. It can mean to return. It can mean to go back. It can mean to sit down. But the thing is, we're talking about a GI, but see, our natural instinct as uh, English-speaking people, we're trying to get in the dictionaries and these books to find anything that relates to it. But when it talks about the GI and the glee, it doesn't have no, it's not the same. It might confuse somebody, and it has to have somebody that can teach you like me that understands the language. You know, I think I know everything, and I never claim to know everything, but I know a lot. Right. And we have to be able to do this. We have to get it, and, I, and it frustrates me that I can't find this stuff in none of these books. And, you know, and it takes me to interpret it, someone that's uneducated, even though I'm about to graduate, but I'm still uneducated, and I'm for sure uneducated in technology. But with the help of you guys, look at you guys, they're all helping me. We're helping one another. That's what it's going to take to complete this language. You know, out of the Ponca from Nebraska, the Omaha in Nebraska, and the Ponca in Oklahoma, the one that has the least knowledge is the Ponca of Nebraska. But I'm telling you, with me and you guys and all the rest of the Ponca in Nebraska, we can complete these bridges. We these can. bridges that are broken, we can complete them if you guys will help me. It's I not know. just me helping you. I'm trying to I'm trying to help save this language with you guys. Yeah. We're almost at an end. 
we're almost at an end where it ain't gonna we're not gonna be able to come back i'm gonna save that for tomorrow and yeah, i'm telling you and, and you know and and people like connie and my sister and barbara my sister and all you new uh, brothers, Brother Jonathan, Brother Robert, Sister Debbie, Brother Garrett, you know, Brother Chris, Sister Robin, you know, we're going to get all this together that we have to do it. We can do it. Make it a, a lifelong goal to have a long day that God says we have on this earth when we got spare time or we make it a passion or even a job. Like right now, it's, it's my job. I, I got a part time job doing this. And it's something that I love that we got to do it because I'm telling you, we're at that point in our stages of, uh, we're down to six fluent speakers in Oklahoma. Six fluent speakers. The Omaha, I believe they got three left. Huh. And the Ponca from up there haven't had none for some time, maybe 30 years. Right. We cannot let this be the end. We can't let this be our demise. This has to be something that we're going to preserve, that we're going to say, hey, I'm going to learn. And we have enough resources. And another book that I didn't bring with me, that uh, you guys get a chance to get. It's called the Deggy Hall EA. Let me put that whiteboard back up. I'm going to write that down so you guys can get it. Does anybody need what I left up there? But I wanted to show you something. Okay, look. I think we're good. You, okay. But when you say, or you can even put, I'm good. I'm good. I took I took my own horse that was standing. You know, it's so being descriptive of telling which horse it was. So you're saying that Ugeze is like the root, and you're basically adding a prefix in front of it, the gi no, prefix in front of it, right? When you use this, when you use this right here, okay, this word, okay, look, this word right here, these is the root to take. That's ugly. And then when you add this root verb to it, when you just say this, this root verb becomes this. This changes that to a root a root verb that conjugates to this. Oh. Uh, Please, I oh, please, I the. Please, I did you see how it transformed that? This became the root verb using the G form. That's right here means he, she, or it took it. Gleeza means he, she, or it took his own. Oh, Gleeza, I took my own. Dog Gleeza, you take your own. Gleeza, she, he, or it took her own. Own Gleezai, we took our own. The Gleezai, you all took your own. Gleezai, they took their own. You guys will not find this in any Ponca or Omaha book, but this is a fluent language, the correct pure language of the Ponca and the Omaha. Why are they not teaching these? I don't know. I don't know. We need to construct And then, and then look, and then when we go to the K, it turns into... He Gleeze. This is another root form. This is the root, root, and that became the root of the of this. What I just told you guys about. You see it? You got this wrote down so I can start on this one? Or we can wait till tomorrow. I'm good. And you're not going to find, you'll find some of this in the Ponca and the Omaha books, but not a lot of it. It's what you call obscure. We don't want it to be obscure. We, don't want, we want it to be manifest. We want it to be made known without a doubt. We know what we're talking about. 
when we teach or I'm teaching somebody, let's have a firm hold on what we're teaching and what we're learning. And you could say, well, we learned from that guy, Eagle. He's 44 years old, but this Eagle don't even got a degree. Your Eagle came from uh, prison on a nonviolent for selling marijuana. Or he doesn't, I mean, how could he know? He's uh, not even a full blood punker, even though he's almost full blood, but his dad is a Potawatomi and he's yanked in Sioux and he's Ponca. That's how people look at me down here. They don't care about the, the, the beauty of the gift that I can teach anyone. They look at that I'm not all Ponca, even though I'm 77% Ponca, I'm over three quarters Ponca. They look at me as a Potawatomi, a Dakota. They look at me as uh, someone that went to prison for selling uh, marijuana. Now it's legal in Oklahoma. And I admit I was wrong, but I did 11 years. I did my time. I paid the price I owed. And I understand that. And I teach everybody. I, I'm part of a domestic violence groups. I help with uh, opioids in the, the community, getting people to rehab, including one of my own sons. You know, I sit there and I help. I do nonprofits. I do everything I can. And it ain't to prove to nobody that I'm different. God knows I'm different. The thing is, is we have to make change. And the reason I say this is because people don't believe my teaching because of who I was then. That's, a, that's okay. I'm cool with that. I made a mistake in life. Zero sense. Well, it doesn't matter since I made a mistake. And sometimes it's detrimental to people. But I want you guys to see this. I'm going to erase this and I'm going to show you real quick. Just to let you look at the roof. Louis Gray. Louis Gray. This could, no, this is wrong. It goes here. Do you see this? Yeah. I'm just going to say, she takes, she takes her own, she took her self. Does it make sense? Yeah. More or less the the understanding when to put like when to put the G at like the K I G D instead of why that's not K I D I I that or T H that's the only part that always that throws me is how to know what to put in front of you know this G I and this K I could be put in front of any any T H verb. Right, but how do you know when you have to add um, that in front of I'll show it? You. Let me show you real quick. Okay. She ate. She ate. She ate. This one's completed. How, Robin, complete this one for me. What? I'm this not one. sure I understand. Okay, let me give you, let me just, okay. She ate it. She ate her own, her own portion, her own food, her own whatever it was. Right. She ate her self. And I'm not trying to be derogatory, nothing. I'm trying to show you guys something. This means self. This means own. This is he, she, or it. Yeah. 
And we're you're not going to find that in all these books. This comes from this. This comes from How this. How about that? Um, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. She's talking about this, but she has the same question. Yeah, you go. I believe there's a, um, a little blob blurb on it in the um, uh, um, the Umaha verb book. What, uh, what is it? Show me it's a picture. On, um, I don't. I don't got my book with me, so show me. A, I I know that they got a little bit, and I've seen it in that Omaha book. On, but they got it on very few verbs. Yeah, it's on and page. So a lot of people don't think that. No, just send me the picture yeah, on the Yeah, page one eighty eight. Just send it to my messenger. Page one eighty eight, though. Okay. okay. May I speak? Go ahead. Yeah, I think that this is unique to the Ponca language. Um, and the yeah. Omaha language, I think, just us. Yeah, and the Omaha language. Um, we don't have this in English, where you have a prefix that changes how the verb is used. We, you, we have conjugations of the verb. In French, it's an article that changes how the verb is used and how it's comprehended, whether it's masculine, feminine, whether it's I, you, she, it, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they. The article preceding the verb has got to agree with it. And so here, th this is so cool, I think, because this is using a prefix that accomplishes the same thing that the article does in French. So this is actually a little more descriptive than either English or French, which I think is just very cool. Okay, Connie, on this part. I agree with okay, you. Okay, Connie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Connie, on this, see right this, this isn't correct. I've, see, I've seen this before, and I got notations I can show you on mine. Okay. I got two. I got a brand new one. I got an old one. Because if you say, I got it for myself, you would say, I'll key glise. Okay. I'll key glise. That means I got it for myself. Okay. This means I got my own. Okay. And listen, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna shoot this. To, I'm gonna I shoot this to. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send this to our. Where's our chat at? Uh, Connie, make sure you get all our people on here to study <laughs> on the side. Oh, because um, I want them to understand. And even though it says it in the Omaha book, that yeah, is not correct. Um, that yeah, is not correct. that's what I was wondering. Um, the, the Facebook. My Facebook, I found out it's Connie, C-O-N-N-I-E-O-B. So Connie, C-O-N-N-I-E, and then O-B together, and that's my Facebook. And I promise that's right. <laughs> you guys just message okay. me or just I just, I just sent it to I just sent it to our Ponca language that we, that, uh, right. we made uh, voluntarily over in 2020. I think it's been since 2020, sister, we made that. And I wish I could show you guys on here. <laughs> I wish I could show you that. And also, also, I want you to look at this too. Uh, uh, look, look on that thing that you sent me on your book on page one eighty eight. Do you see right there where it says, uh, "We got it for ourselves." Okay, mm -hmm. okay look at that. You see it's it spelled. It for... Okay, look. They left off the I on those because the Ponca. Recognize the plurality. The Omaha will teach you that the I is supposed to go in there, but the Omaha will never use the I. But they also teach it. And yeah. I can show you in the book where they teach it, but they won't right. use it. It's because the language has been corrupted. That's why when yeah, I, you guys have been Omaha taught by anyway. when, why you guys have been taught by Omaha, we still use the purity of the language. That's where we differ. Not that we're better than them, but we differentiate. Because of the purity of the right. slang. And I mean that with the greatest yes, utmost respect to my Umaha, Nashkama, Uthama, Uthama. And I and I said that with my Omaha people. Never talking down. But I'm gonna go ahead and write this down. I'm gonna clear this and I'm gonna show you what she's talking about. That's why when we look at some of this stuff, 
you have to take it at face value. You can only use some of it. You can't just look at it as it's written in stone because it's not. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Uh, I'll give you this Oh, my God. Leave on. Leave and then that, this is where this is where this stops. And then it goes to this. What if I did that wrong? Okay, there. Okay. The key, and then it goes to oh, key, the. The key, the and I'm not talking bad about no Omaha people. I mean that we just don't speak the same no more. All key, this right here is all glize, all key glize. These are two separate words. I got my own. I got it myself. Or I got myself could be translated either way. Dog leaves a dog key leaves a glees eye key glees eye on glees eye on key glees eye dog glees a I'm gonna hold on hold on I did that wrong dog glees eye excuse me. No key glees are. And then the last is right here and right here. I know it's all glees eye, key glees eye. Do you guys understand? Yeah. They're totally different and you cannot say them the same. And that book that she said it from is not pronounced right. And you're right. And sister, there's only one. Other, I think they got one other deal for that GI to affect the TH verb, but listen, the GI and the KI can affect every single TH verb. That's this, it affects every verb, whether it's this, hold on, I'm gonna erase all this. This, and this, affects all of these. No matter, is this. And it don't matter if they're nozzleized. It doesn't mean nothing. It can affect every single one of these. Those can change every T this. No matter what it has here, it doesn't matter. They can affect every single one of them. Every single one of them. 
And I don't understand why some of these people don't teach on that when they know. But I want you guys to know. And when I talk about these verbs, I know what I'm talking about. There's only one that's really hard that I don't know if I can explain that's not explained with the Omaha or the Ponca. And I asked our fluent speakers, is the, the WA, the wall, added on to verbs? It's hard to, I can't even explain it. And I still haven't got answers back from uh, a couple of Ponca fluent speakers and then one Omaha. I, actually, I sent out to two Omaha speakers and they have yet to return to me how to explain that in the class. And so I can't explain it to you, but I will show you. And that's the last verb prefix. I just showed you nine. Ba, be, da, the, ga, ma, mu, na, no, a, e, u, gi, ki. It's after eight o'clock right now. And the last one is wa. Those are the, let's see. How many was that? Nine, you got nine right there. Nine, fifteen, let's see, nine, twelve, fourteen. There's fifteen verb prefixes in Ponca that I know, and that's all I know. I don't know any more than that. And uh, that's all I know. Fifteen. There may have been seventeen at one time. I don't know, but there's. There could be 16, I don't know, with a nozzle eye, but sometimes that nozzle eye always means something. But it could also be uh, a, root, a root verb, too. I don't really know. Let me look real quick before I end this today. So I'll, I, I don't know how to think about that one. It could be. But our language is really... There's only a couple of them, and maybe about 10 of them, but that would be, and I couldn't explain that either. I like a ink. Now, that verb, I couldn't explain that, but, and there's a couple also, there, there's a few others that are the on, on, and eat. But I don't, I don't know if they have any great significance to them. But they're, but they definitely are root verbs, and I can, uh, and I couldn't explain them. Maybe in old days there was a, a reason for that, but I don't know. But I, I guarantee there ain't no one else. Probably tell you, but maybe two people, and that's my uh, my grandpa, or three people: my grandpa Lewis and my grandpa Sherman, and then my uh, uncle Rufus White. That's Omaha. Those may be the only men left, that are, and they're all fluent. Uh, speaking two Ponkas and one Omaha that might be able to explain that the nozzleized root verbs because I can't. But I know that uh, through the Ponka and the Omaha, those nozzleized root verbs are not even counted as a prefix. Why, I don't know. That's why I told you I can't explain it. And I'm going to let us in for today. So, Sister Barbara, could you pray us out today, if you would? Uh, um, it would be my honor. I'm grateful every day for the opportunity to hear the language, to practice, give our tongues some exercise, practicing all the new sounds. Especially grateful for the songs, the healing prayers, uh, sending prayers to Jonathan for his health, to continue on a good road for uh, Eagle and Emily to recover from their accident. A uh, special little prayer for my little friend Fanny in the hospital. And Connie, I hope the weather lets up for you.
good health to Garrett, Robert, Robin, and her husband, and everybody present, everybody who participates, everybody who lends their ear and voice and heart to this. Prayers that we can build a good, strong foundation together. May everyone have a safe good night. We the huh. You guys have a good night. Thank you guys. Think about what I told you. Think about what I told you on these verb prefixes. And you know what? As soon as we get something more set up, I'm gonna... okay. And uh, I'm going to really start uh, showing you curriculum and getting this curriculum in order so that you could really understand and learn. And so I could give you a, a chance to uh, think about and study what I'm getting ready to talk about. Okay. Okay. Y'all have a good night.